Eight mistakes everybody is making with SharePoint. I'm Paul Kaisers and help businesses with Microsoft Teams, SharePoint and Copilot for a living. That's why you can be sure that after watching this video, you will not make these mistakes. Let's jump into it. So the first mistake and i have to be honest i asked uh, people around uh, to get to a late list of eight okay for me it's uh -huh, uh -huh. yes i know yes i know but uh, thanks for everybody who uh, who in uh, send in uh, their uh, mistake and we've got in total eight and of the first one we are starting with and that's quite a normal one which is not actually into sharepoint but is more about the way people write sharepoint because sharepoint is written with camel case now this is for uh, people who are working with sharepoint is really important that you write the product with the correct spelling and i know some people have had uh, issues with that so number two, number two is more serious. People tend to uh, say, okay, we start with SharePoint and what they do, they pick up their network drive and put it directly into SharePoint without migrating it in a proper way. So what it is, is you get, first of all, you get everything in one site collection. You have no permission levels. Um, second, uh, you get garbage in, garbage out. And if you're not careful, you will uh, lots of limitations that will uh, not help you. So please make a good migration plan if you plan to go to SharePoint. Number three, what they do is create a team on the root site instead of a communication site. Now, this also has to do with number eight, uh, which is the last item but um, for um, what's really important is that SharePoint is way more than just um, a document management system so if you create a site a teams site on the root level this means that you cannot make it a communication site anymore yes you can change some things but it's not the same as a communication site. So this is number three. I would definitely send, uh, create a communication site on your root site. You can change it. If you need help, let me know. Number four, not understanding how they are breaking uh, permissions result is an IT nightmare. So for this, we go into SharePoint. So I already opened SharePoint and here we go to site contents. And in this case, this is a communication site. Uh, let's go to site contents. And what, they mean, what I mean with that is that, for example, we have documents here and what is possible is that they say, okay, uh, I'm, um, I need permissions here, so I'm just going to share. And this is also something that we are going to come back later. And if we look here, then you see that um, there is already a setting enabled and it's not people with existing access. So this we come back to. That's one, uh, so this breaks uh, already permissions, but what most of them do when they think they already have a lot of knowledge, they say, okay, we go to the library, more library settings, and this is already more in the advanced setting. There you go, permissions for this document library, and they say, uh, delete unique permissions in this case, it doesn't or it does so in this case normally when you go into here they say okay stop inheriting uh, permissions and then you say okay and they start changing permissions on the document level what is causing issues for it so that's number four the number five default settings uh, are um, default settings are not 
people who already have access on the tenant level. So this is something I want to show you. So here we, what I just or already showed you in point four, when I have, for example, this document, I click, can click on share or copy link. If I click on copy link and I need to allow it, it default copies the link. But if we look at the settings, it's people within KB works with the link can edit it. So this means that um, everyone in the organization with the link can edit it. But by default, you don't want that. You want to share it with people who already have access. This is really important because else you are creating a new nightmare for the IT admin. So be, your, be aware of that. And I know for sure that lots of people don't work this way. So, but it's not possible for IT admin to set this up as a default setting in your uh, tenant so in your office 365 environment all right number six so number six is just using it for documents without the power of meta pages uh, metadata pages and lists so as you can see uh, already in this case let's go to the landing you see that this is a communication site it has pages you can edit the page but we also got if we go to site contents you see that we will have multiple things here so people only tend to use the documents library and uh, forget that they can also create a list for example uh, whole birthdays or uh, other things if you can create a list it's like for example excel it's really easy, you can reuse it and uh, you can work together on it directly. It's really uh, possible to make it up in all uh, uh, versions. So let's go into creating a list, for example, new list. And here you will see that you will get a template and you can already choose what you want. So this is really powerful uh, because this is something that people do in Excel, but it's way better to do it in a list. Next to that, you can create the pages, which I already showed you. Uh, pages like this uh, that are uh, available directly. Number seven, full control access for everybody. Well, <laughs> if you do this, then uh, everybody can access everything, but they can also change everything. Uh, this is happening for a few companies and most of the companies are really small but I wouldn't advise to use the full control for everybody because it will be a nightmare you don't know who has done what so that's really important by the way if you like this video like the video and subscribe to my channel and share this video with everyone then we are going to number eight people not using a news posts so this is an interesting one because you can publish news to the intranet and share the content and they really made this nice because you have so much uh, power with news in a SharePoint. For example, if I click on news and I click on uh, news post, I can uh, select from templates already, for example, a newsletter. And here we can select, we directly have a page available and it's made for mail, so you can directly send an email to all your users always give a title because else it won't save and here you see you have the post and send the full news if i click on it it will be posting and i can send it directly to a group in my organization it looks like this so it's really nice i can send a link or i can send it as a page uh, let's send it to Debbie in this case and send. 
the email is sent so everybody in my company knows exactly what's going on that's only a few things that people tend to forget or are not using when they are using sharepoint i would really recommend to use these features and be aware of what these eight mistakes were so if you were careful, then uh, you are sure that you are not going to make these mistakes uh, over your SharePoint environment. Uh, for another video, which is great, you can click on here and uh, you will see it uh, directly. Thanks for watching.